Welcome back to Kin in Line. I make this part 143. We're at my elder, a younger son Douglas's uh, graduation in about 2016 at the former University of Port Elizabeth, now called Nelson Mandela University. I think this could be the vice chancellor. Um, next to him is probably one of the academics on the stage that was with him. Yeah. So as I sat there, I kind of just looked around and surreptitiously sketched whoever I found. I always used to carry these, uh, an A4 page of quite nice paper, sort of divided into four. Uh, they were easy, easy to carry in your pocket and, you know, a useful size for these sort of quick sketches. And then obviously, as with previous ones, I would come home later, colour them in at home with the watercolours. And you notice that little figure on the right just offsets the foreground figure. Yeah. So I was still there today, 2016. I've been doing this for, oh, let's say, 1980, 90, at least 35 years. And here, a composite, just profile. So we've got a couple up looking forward in the top there. Yeah, so for me, it was a opportunity to be productive. And uh, when Doug's chance came to be given his cap, cap, whatever, then this guy on the left who was photographing each recipient duly took a picture of Doug with that camera and yeah I think this is actually a former classmate of Douglas's or Luke's one of them who, who started a business doing this incredible what people do hey the creative folk among us so after that not far from the university is Pollock Beach and I had quite a nice day or a couple of hours lazing around in the sun and sketching a passing parade and then coloured these later. So again I've used a sort of loose fluid approach uh, preferring not to be too dogmatic specific rather just suggest stuff. It's, uh, to me it's well, it's aesthetically far more pleasing. And yeah, this guy's got a, a bodyboard that he's about to use to take out there and risk his life on the breakers with the umbrella just offsetting it and placing it at the beach. And talking to me about dogmatic, he has dogmatics himself. There will always be dogs with our people. Ah, sorry. And as with my previous sketches, it's quite often the larger figures that work best. Yeah, it's just a couple of dozen lines captures those, that fleshy look. And the sky just chilling out against a backdrop of sea and sand and sun and whatever else. 
देखो क्या हाल से think this might have been done at might even have been done all the way from Pollock I'm not sure if you can see the harbor that well maybe it was done from Shark Rock Pier as I've seen the foreground here we've got one of the humid um, sort of slipway columns surviving columns with and then some container cranes in the background and uh, that tower, I think, I'm not sure what it was used for, this thing here. And this is quite effective. Two fishermen. One guy looks like he's wearing a sort of mask. That would have been at Pollock. I mean, that's the um, headland that goes out to Cape Receif, I'd say. And then the inevitable sweep of the bay. This time I was able to watercolour it because the ink wasn't spreading all over the show. A couple of yacht sails. Yeah. And then I went to a rare sort of evenings, uh, what was it, like a play that this woman put on a one-person thing. I can't remember who she, it's a woman, the uh, story is a, a person, a woman in a kitchen talking to herself. I can't remember the name of the thing. Anyway, also again, I started to realize I was getting old when I saw the people around me uh, who were probably all my age or maybe a bit older, but yeah, old age creeps up on us all eventually eh, before you know it. So yeah, I mean... I don't like being um, confined to what the colours that people think you should use, you know. So let's use skin tones. I'd rather just be a bit freer and expressive and just try and make a nice picture. It's Ethel Valentine. Something Valentine, so many Valentine that rings. I don't know if that was the actress, that is the actress, but I can't remember what the story was. I think it was Ethel Valentine. Yeah, I've had to radically correct on that nose. It's a, it looks like a hand, sort of. She's resting on her hand, and this is that actress. It was quite a nice show, actually. She had to put on this sort of Yorkshire accent, I think. And everywhere were the older members of the community. My models, this one's quite, giving me quite a scarf look here. It's an Afrikaans saying, don't check me out scarf, exe. Don't look at me in that sort of aggressive way. These two, not really enjoying it so much. One guy doesn't have an actual eyeball. I think this guy was quite happy. Probably had a bit of wine, that's why his red face is so flushed. This was at a, I think it's called Victoria Park Bowling Club. 
really old for Port Elizabeth, by Port Elizabeth standards club in Warmer. Uh, yeah, it was our first visit there. I mean, we'd been in PE for good, almost 30 years and never been to the Victoria Park Bowling Club. Now this is a lady I wouldn't like to meet in a bar after a few drinks. So some of these might have been done at another show I went to. It was a concert by, put on by Anton Karlitz, which is, this is him, I think. He won't recognize himself because his face is just divided in half there. And this was actually a friend of ours, uh, my wife's, uh, had a colleague, and this was her husband. Um, Gary DeBrain, I think it is. And here I think we're back with that guy with the big nose we spotted earlier. He's become the main focus. Yeah. Old age is cruel, eh? And then in amongst these, for some reason, I found just one drawing from that farm I spoke about earlier in near Stainsburg in the Karoo. So this is Los Krantz, this one in the middle here. And you know, it's quite a climb, I'm telling you. So a couple of hours to get up there. And it's that crant there, there are actually big boulders at the bottom where they which have tumbled down. Yeah, so um in future posts I'm going to I've got several drawing books that I've taken to this farm. So I've got numerous sketches I've done of of these mountains which I'll be showing as we proceed but for now I think we'll have to call it so we'll just enjoy a bit of the Karoo here while I wait till next time cheers <laughs>